Hi hey guys, so in this video I want to show you how to set up a PPPoE connection on a Dream Router or Dream Machine, Dream Wall, whatever it is, it's all the same. Um, the uh, Ubiquiti Dream Machines look for a DHCP type of internet connection as uh, default. So if you haven't got that type of internet connection then you just need to make a couple of changes and I'll show you that now. So when you boot it up, the first thing you'll get told is to restart your modem. You don't need to do that, you basically just need to go down here to other setup options. Click on that, and then you just pick your internet type. So for me, I'm going to be using a PPPoE connection. So we click on that one, and this is where you put in all your credentials. So the PPPoE credentials will come from your provider. Certain providers, like for example, BT in the UK, have got generic um, credentials. It's the same for everyone. But most providers, they give you a specific username and password for your PPPoE. Um, so you will probably need to phone them or they might send it to you to get those details. Um, so I'll just run through that quickly. So the first thing we do is just select our DNS servers. You can either leave this as kind of default if you want to, or you can change it. But I just put in uh, these ones. This is Cloudflare and Google. If you uh, need a VLAN with your connection, it's very important it's put in here. So if you don't use a VLAN tag and you do need a VLAN tag, then it won't work. But similarly, if you put one in and it you don't require it, then it also won't work. So this part is really important. So if you put in a username and password and it's not connecting, it's probably because you need a VLAN tag. I find that some providers don't actually tell you that, which is really frustrating. So you have to actually ask, do I need a VLAN tag? So in this case, I do need one. So I'm just gonna tick VLAN. And then it's basically just gonna be a number. Oh, so you just type that in the box there. My one for this is 911. And then down in the username, you need to put in your uh, username that they've given you for those credentials. So it's probably gonna look a little bit like an email address. I've got a screenshot of mine here. So I'm just gonna type it in. So it will be something like your provider's name um, and then some numbers or something like that. And then the at sign with their service. That's normally how it works, but it does depend on provider to provider. So I'll type mine in, and then the password will just be like a normal password. It's not normally very long. If you get this wrong, then it just won't work. So you've got to make sure you check all this. So like triple check this, because there's nothing more frustrating than finding out you've missed a number or something. And this bit, the VLAN tag, I must stress that's really important. And that's all you need to do. You just literally press, press apply changes and that is it. And that will connect. If it doesn't connect straight away, you might need to reboot your modem. Sometimes you do, um, but most of the time it should pick it up pretty quickly. The USGs used to take ages on this for some reason. Um, but the dream machine seems to be much better. So there you go. That took a couple of seconds and we're connected. I hope this video has been helpful. Please do subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.